on the one hand, you, know, you could say it's mathematical ability plus determination, but even the determination could have led to the mathematical you know, development. And then things like the sales. I, I, I have huge respect for sales. Most educated people loathe sales. Right. Um, but the fact that she had the chutzpah to basically sell over and over and over again and be rejected over and over and over again, um, that's impressive. Uh, and it sounds like she's just undaunted. Is that a fair adjective? That's a fair adjective. Now, the Teal Fellowship had some really cool aspects to it that she benefited from, and one is mentors. And man, she would make use of them. She was, she, she was never afraid to ask for help, um, which is one of the hallmarks of successful people, by the way, if you think about it. Um, it it's, it, and so she did have help in that sense. And, and, um, but she knew how to use that help. I mean, it's like, and, and, and to be fair, there are other Teal Fellows who uh, are having a really big impact on the world already. You know, one of which is this guy with the new LIDAR uh, system for automobiles. Mm -hmm. um, You're saying something really important. And that is that, um, that because she grew up in a, in, in a way where she saw adults and mentors and other people in her surrounds as resources as opposed to authority figures, right? That she could go and ask for help and have relationships with people and, um, wow. right? Like, as opposed to- well, That's a really good people, way to put right? it. She saw them as, I mean, that's a really good way to put it. She saw them as resources instead of right? authority figures. And so every time yes. she encumbered someone who could possibly help, she's like, okay, you know, maybe we meet, we're needing to meet for a reason, right? Uh -huh. And then working her, her magic as well, right? Like she, she must've inspired so many people because she was doing, you know, at such a young age, what we're all aspiring to be as adults. So, um, I'm sure it was, a, you know, it's bi-directional. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. one of the things I taught her too, that she really got, I said, look, baby, gratitude is another hallmark of successful people. And gratitude is the rocket fuel of the future. And, it, and if you think about it, that's what compensation is, is, is you're paying gratitude to somebody that created value for you. Um, so I said, look, Cynthia took a huge risk on you at an early age, and it really worked out for her and for you, okay? Because she's associated in large part, you, she, you, you two are kind of connected. So it adds to her value to, to have been associated with you, but you got more value than she did because she was the already crazy successful. And so it won't ever hurt to mention her as many times as it's appropriate without being phony or too effusive, uh, but just let people know how valuable she was to your success, you know? Um, and every now and then I'll hear her giving a talk because I secretly listen to all of them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and she'll say, you know, you know, I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for Cynthia Kenyon, da, 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 da. Uh, almost as an aside, but I know Cynthia notices it, you know. <laughs>